and I'll leave it to you on the order. Thank you very much for introducing us. Uh, from Japan, as you see, uh, three representatives uh, has come to this important conference uh, from the government and uh, from the national project and from the university. Uh, I'm Naoko Kamura, a counselor at the, uh, the cabinet secretariat of the Japanese government. I'm uh, not a scientist, unfortunately, but the, uh, the, uh, as the, the uh, national officials and in charge of the, uh, the promoting new initiative for medical research, all over the medical research. Uh, today, uh, we have three topics. Uh, first topic, which I will explain, is national medical uh, new policy. And the second topic uh, to be presented by Dr. Kubo is National Genomic uh, Medicine Project. Following his topic, uh, Dr. Uh, Miyano will talk about uh, a project implemented by the University of Tokyo. Uh, after five years has passed um, since Mr. Uh, Abe left the prime minister's position, he came back. He uh, recaptured the government last year. And uh, soon after, he formed his new cabinet. He declared three pillars of stability. One is the uh, broad monetary policy, and the second one is the, was the uh, flexible fiscal policy, and the third one was the, uh, the economic growth strategy. One of the key e policy issues regarding the growth strategy is medical and health care policy. Yes. Uh, in Japan, the government used to promote medical research and development through three ministries, Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, and Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. However, as you can see, uh, this is the new structure uh, to promote the national medical research and development policy in Japan. We've established this old structure last year. In order to achieve practical use of national medical research, Prime Minister Abe decided to integrate all the medical R&D budget under the leadership of the Cabinet Secretary. This budget should be allocated upon the prioritized field by the decision of the headquarter in accordance with the strategic policy for the medical research. The government is now also pre preparing for the, uh, uh, the blue one, uh, a new independent uh, administrative agency. This new agency shall manage all the related activities uh, in the field of medical research. Uh, the order budget will be e allocated centrally by this new agency. We intend all the national project to cover from basic to uh, practical, practical use seamlessly. As a result of the uh, politic huge uh, political initiative, the budget for the fiscal year to 2014 uh, increases about 20% from the former year. One of the key components of the cooperation project uh, is listed here, the other nine. Uh, one of them is medic uh, genetic genetic medicine, the last one on the left side. The total budget for the same is about 7 billion yen, which is approximately 70 million US dollars. This page shows the brief idea of the cooperative project toward realizing genomic medicine. The government 
coordinate not only basic, sci basic program and uh, research infrastructure, but also clinical research on the light side. Uh, in a single and comprehensive view in order to achieve clinical application. For this purpose, we had advocated several goals to be achieved uh, in uh, toward uh, 2015 or 2030, 2020 or 2030, uh, from the beginning stage. Okay, now uh, from this place, I should uh, pass the <laughs> microphone to the specialist, national and the leader of the national project, Ms. Dr. Kubo, please. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll briefly uh, overview of this uh, uh, general medicine project in Japan. And the aim of this project is to improve the medical care and health care for common diseases, including cancer and lifestyle-related diseases, by using the implementation of the genomic medicine. So the, based on the health and medical strategy by the Japanese government, this project promotes the uh, clinical application of the genomic research findings for the aiming at the return to the public and in parallel with the strengthening of the genomic research infrastructure. So the, this project has three parts. One, the, the first is uh, the, on the left side in the uh, construction of the biobank network. Using the uh, uh, useful biobank network, uh, Central Genome Center in the uh, middle position will perform the large-scale genomic research and to build the comprehensive the genomic variation database that link to the clinical phenotypes such as the uh, disease susceptibility or the drug responses. And if we get the uh, genomic variation database, uh, Medical Genome Center will perform the clinical research uh, by using the genomic information to validate the efficacy and the uh, cost effectiveness of the genomic information in the clinical setting. And so that the uh, Medical Genome Center will establish the optimized treatment through the prediction of drug responses and the prediction of optimization of the predictive diagnostics and optimization of the preventive health care. So the, I will talk in the uh, biobank network and uh, uh, Dr. Miano will talk about the uh, supercomputer facility in the Central Gem Center and also the other activities in the Tokyo University. I want to uh, first show you the biobank Japan project. Uh, this project was started in uh, 2003 as a leading project of the MEX. In the first period of the five years, uh, we collected uh, 47 uh, target diseases uh, in, and uh, pa in patients' DNA, serum, and clinical information, and uh, constructed the Biobank Japan, including uh, the, these are the numbers of the patients. And using these uh, samples, in the, we performed the uh, large-scale GWAS and identified many susceptible genes for various diseases and drug responses. And this in the third period from the last year, we uh, further extend the uh, research infrastructure of the Biobank Japan and also promote the genomic research. <coughs> the second Biobank is the National Center Biobank Network that was uh, 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 recently developed by the co cooperation of the six national centers, including geriatric diseases, uh, cardiovascular diseases, and uh, general medicine, cancer center, uh, childhood disease, and uh, neuropsychiatric diseases. They are now collecting samples and making the catalog databases, and uh, the important thing is a huge number of tissue collections in this uh, biobank. And the third one is the Tohoku Medical Megabank. As you know that uh, Japan has a great East Asian earthquake uh, three years ago, then this project was started as a uh, one of the recovery project. The objectives of this uh, project is a revitalization of the medical care in the disaster area and uh, develop infrastructure for next generation medicine. This project will perform the health survey in uh, 150,000 individuals in the uh, disaster area and construct biobank and analyze the 
uh, to do the genomic analysis to uh, for the aiming at the drug discovery or the personalized medicine. So I will move to the next person. Well, thank you. The Institute of Medical Science of the University of Tokyo uh, locates uh, in the center of Tokyo. And it is in 10 minutes to the Super Express train station and in 30 minutes to the Tokyo Haneda Airport. Location is very fine. And in th that campus, uh, around 1,000 people are working. And the, uh, the team of the Human Genome Center, uh, the Advanced Clinical Research Center, and the research hospital with 135 beds and the supercomputer system is involved with our uh, genomic medicine practice. And this supercomputer system uh, will be used by the end of this year. We will have a new one next year, next January. And the usage is limited to b uh, genomic and uh, biological sciences, not for phys physics. And <laughs> it's important, <laughs> its performance is currently 225 teraflops. Uh, it has t uh, 22,000 CPU cores. And the storage system is a three petabyte uh, high-speed parallel disk array and two petabyte normal disk system. In, in total, five petabyte storage. And annual budget is uh, about 10 million US dollar. And the genomic medicine started uh, at IMS in 2001 uh, by focusing on specific genes in a small scale as shown in, uh, sorry, as shown in this uh, slide. And patients and uh, hereditary, uh, patients uh, and clients are cancer, hereditary diseases, common diseases, and genetic issues. The team of genetic medicine uh, yeah, is collaborating with the uh, Japanese Association of Hospitals for Genetic Medicine and the Tokyo Genetic Counseling Network. And the, uh, the follow-up and surveillance of genetic counseling has been provided, and it has a history of 13 years. And, uh, you, you know, the, by the, by the drastic, drastic advancement of sequencing technologies, such as silicon chip-based sequencing, uh, to cope with the near future genomic medicine, we are now extending this system to whole genome sequencing more. The LC team was direct, is directed by Kaori Muto, and the genetic counseling team is directed by Yoich Furukawa. And at the hospital, clinical sequence covers cancer and blood disorders due to limited expertise. And the whole genome clinical sequence is currently as a part of research. And we recognize the bottleneck of the system is data analysis and clinical interpretation. And the more serious problem is lack of specialists who can do this task. Yeah. Decision support system and effective use of biomedical uh, big data will be a very important key, uh, uh, key to our practice. And this is uh, part of the sequence and the data analysis facilities and the supercomputer there was already installed and most equipment are, are placed in this secure network system. And the genetic and the genomic information is separated from the uh, medical record by the policy. And for sequencing technology, we are waiting for nanopore sequencing or uh, without the nanopore sequencing. And the last sentence is, the University of Tokyo is founding a uh, Univers University of Tokyo is founding the International Genomic Medicine Research Organization by participating in two research institutions and two graduate schools. One is uh, School of Medicine. Thank you very much. Uh, one one question about uh, this, particularly this last piece, where you're obviously generating an enormous amount of uh, research data, um, but on the right-hand side, you uh, anticipate clinical applications. And I'm wondering um, 
what process you have in place to make the decision about when something gets re released from research and put into clinical practice? Well, it's a headache, <laughs> Axel. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us something we don't yeah, know. Frankly, <laughs> fra fra frankly, frankly speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we would characterize it as a major headache, but uh, I think we're on the same page. I was wondering if you could, could you put the slide back up, please? Could you, could you talk more about the, um, the, the International Genomic uh, Medicine Research Organization? Uh, I know you, we were a little uh, late on time. The last slide. Um, just this in one? terms of, yes, so what you're founding that, what do you envision that to be? And I'm thinking about that from the perspective of how uh, that, which has international in it, uh, would uh, interface with what we're trying to do here and where, where there might be some synergies. Yeah, but the, the, the international means, the, this is within the University of Tokyo, but the collaborating with some international society, uh, universities, yeah, we have not specified, but candidates are raised. Yes, right. Uh, truly, not domestic, I mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Not okay. closed within Japan. And fun the funding model? Oh, well, it's a good question. The, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she, she is a, uh, uh, she is a. <laughs> She, she, she is a kind of boss in, in a very high place, and she is whipping us to, <laughs> to install these kind of thing and make proposal to fit the her idea, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have been writing a proposal every year, yeah, but <laughs> failed. But new initiative started, I do hope the such international organization to collaborate uh, internationally uh, will be uh, created, I do hope. Thank you for support. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank all of you, uh, Ms. Okamura, uh, Dr. Kubo, uh, Dr. Miano. Thank you for, for your presentation and a great note to end on uh, for the day. Um, we have uh, still uh, one more item to cover as we uh, wrap up.